Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. I'm not doing a recipe today. What I'm doing today is a grocery haul. I wanna show you all uh, what I bought at the grocery store. I'm not done with my shopping, so this is kind of like a part one. We've got some Thanksgiving things to show you. I bought some Christmas things as well. I have a bunch of stuff over here behind me that you can see that I want to bring next to me by the island so I can spread everything out and you can see what I have. And I'm going to show you what I've done with my turkey. A whole bunch of stuff. Let's get to it. Okay, everybody, come on in. Let me show you what I got. First thing that I wanna do is show you all Prince and Polo's new couch. They have a couch here. And what we did was we purchased the couch for, let's see, cause you can buy a small couch for a dog up to 20 pounds. So we didn't wanna get the small. So we purchased the medium and you can see we put two couches together and the medium fits a dog up to 35 pounds. So, you know, they're only five and four pounds. So we figure if we get two couches and put it together, give them something nice to lay on. We're training them and hold on guys. Hey everyone, sorry about the phone call. So what I was saying is we're training Prince and Polo and right now they're supposed to be staying on their couch and they're doing such an amazing job. You can see Polo is sleeping. They love this amazing couch. We got it, we purchased it from Amazon and you can buy it for large dogs, medium and small dogs, like I said. And then we have three of their baby blankets in the, um, on the couch. Um, and you can see Prince is kind of waking up because he knows I'm talking about it. <laughs> but say hi, Prince and Polo, because I know you all ask about them every day. Okay, so we have some goodies here. Keep in mind that this is not the full grocery haul. I still have to do some shopping, maybe late tonight or tomorrow at the latest. So one thing that I got was a non-stick oven liner, okay? And this here is what it looks like. It can go underneath the heating element. And here's the size right here, a 16.25 by 23 inches. And it says that you can trim this to fit your oven, okay? It's easy to clean, it's reusable, and it fits any gas or electric oven. I'm so excited to try this because you all know how much I like for things to be nice and clean. And with all of the cooking and baking that I'm gonna be doing, sometimes you might have some spills. And by using this, this should help. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on this and let you know what I think about it. Okay, I got this at Walmart. <laughs> and then I have my Chessman cookies. Those Chessman cookies are uh, for the banana pudding that we're going to make. I had some um, vanilla wafers. I think someone accidentally put them away in the pantry. Okay, so we got our Chessman cookies for banana pie or, or banana pudding. Linguini. Guess what I'm making, guys? Guess what I'm making? I'm so excited. I decided to make, because I wanted a nice cold salad. I'm gonna make this linguine salad. If you all had, listen here. If you haven't seen my linguine salad video, check it out. It's my grandmom's linguine, and this linguine salad right here is absolutely to die for. It's amazing. Once you start eating it, you can't stop. It's so good. Okay, so I'm gonna make that. And some of you are saying, what the heck does she have M&Ms for? Something really great, guys, listen. Okay, so I take Cheez-Its. You can use any kind of Cheez-Its. I thought it would be fun to use the Cheez-Its that has the Parmesan and the sharp cheddar. Okay, what we're gonna do with those Cheez-Its is you pour the whole bag of Cheez-Its into a big bowl. And then you pour your M&Ms into the bowl as well with the Cheez-Its. And I got the almond M&Ms. You can use plain M&Ms. I'm gonna use the almond and the peanut, okay? So you have Cheez-Its and you have M&Ms. And then pretzels. You mix that up and guess what? Your guests love it. You'll see your guests just going in on this snack. It's a great snack. 
while family members are waiting for food to get done, you know. Um, and I made it last year and it was so exciting to see just how fast it went. So what I do is I put a little bit into a bowl and as I see it go down, I keep, you know, keep like reloading it. But it's a winner for sure for the holidays. Okay, so then, you know, you need your onions, right? Now, let me tell you this about the fresh veggies. As far as my celery, my tomatoes, my cucumbers, things like that, I'm not gonna buy that until Wednesday. I don't get my fresh, fresh, fresh stuff until Wednesday, okay? All right, so we have onions, that Velveeta block. You're gonna need that for the macaroni and cheese. This here, you know I'm using that French vanilla for my banana pudding. You gotta have brown sugar for those desserts, okay? And brown sugar for your sweet potato casserole. Right here, I have up the, the chopped pecans. That's what that is. And the Italian dressing in that ranch powder right there will be used for my linguine salad, okay? This here will be used for the linguine salad as well, which is the sliced olives. It gives a beautiful pop in the linguine. Of course, I've showed you the Cheez-Its, and I have some stovetop stuffing, okay? I have the twin pack here, and then I have a regular size pack. You all know I'm gonna do it the easy way, and I'm gonna make some cornbread, mix that up, and it's gonna be absolutely amazing with those giblets and that turkey neck in there. Hooey, listen here. Okay, so then I have, uh, I have a ranch dip here. This is a buffalo ranch and it's absolutely amazing. I'm gonna mix it with this brown sugar um, barbecue sauce and I'm gonna make the little Smokies. Oh yeah, I have like three or four packs. You just set this in a baking dish in your oven and just let it simmer. And those Smokies are amazing, especially when you mix it up with this buffalo ranch dip. Okay, so that's what I'm doing with that. The cream of chicken will be for my baked macaroni, okay? And sweetened condensed milk. I'm gonna try something different this year. I was watching Simply Food by TY, and he told us all to put sweetened condensed milk in your macaroni and cheese, and guess what? I'm gonna give it a try. Here's the thing, here's the thing. If you all don't try different things, you never know how it could have been. Give things a try, I'm gonna do it. I trust Simply Food by TY. I'm gonna try that in my macaroni and cheese this year. Carnation milk. Um, I'm gonna use some carnation milk in my macaroni. And sometimes I like to use a little bit in my, um, what else guys, what was I thinking about? Oh, sometimes I like to use a little bit of carnation milk in my mashed potatoes, all depending on how I feel. Accent, I'm gonna use some accent in my green beans, okay? And I have two chicken broths. These are 48 ounce chicken broths right there. And then I have three of these Hawaiian sweet rolls. Years and years ago, I always used to like to get the brown and serve rolls, but I feel like it's kind of a hassle when you can buy these amazing sweet dinner rolls and they're perfect. You don't have to heat them up and you know they don't have to worry about buttering them or anything right there. These right here are already nice and buttery. They're sweet, they're soft, they're perfect. So I got three of them. I'll probably run out to the store and get two more. And always check, you know, when you have the fresh things, always check your dates and make sure you have a date that's past Thanksgiving because you want everything to be nice and fresh. This here is my macaroni. I'm gonna use one and a half boxes and these are one pound boxes, okay? And then I have some Christmas stuff. Let's see, let's check on the dogs and make sure they're still listening. They're still sitting, Polo's still sleeping, and Prince, Princey, look at mama. There he is, he's sitting and he's being such a good boy. And when they get up, they are gonna get a snack because they are so well behaved. Yes, they are. Well, you can see over here, you can see I got my tree on. Is any of you ever turn your tree on in the daytime just because you can't wait to see it? <laughs> I'm going to 
turn it off. I am going to turn it off because that's a waste of the electricity bill. But I just wanted to see it this morning lit up. Okay, so you can see I have a bunch of stuff over there that I'm going to come back and show you. Those are like canned foods and stuff like that. And then I have my aluminum pans. But let's get to some of the desserts and some Christmas lights that I have. Okay, so of course we had to pick up some Christmas lights. Remember I told you all that Dakota was so excited for Christmas, so excited for the holidays, and he was ready to put those lights up. Normally we don't put our tree and our lights up until the day after Thanksgiving, but that baby was ready, and so we started the process of getting lights up outside. Here's what we bought. We bought the LED cool white mini lights and that's to go around the bushes. These are the ones when it says LED, those are the ones that shine very, very bright. So those are those white ones. We have three of those. Those are going to go in the bushes and then red bowls, the little tiny red bowls that are about this big, they're going to go all over the bushes as well. And then I have green uh, mini lights as well. Now, what we decided to do, and we love to do this every year. We've been doing this the past couple last years. This right here is a projector. You put it together, you push it into the ground, you, you know, use a stake, push it down into the ground, and you have a remote. And what you can do with this is you can turn this to 15 different patterns, okay? You can change the color from inside of your house. Okay, it features decorative holiday chasing, all kinds of light patterns, which is awesome. This one right here we have on the side of our house. Okay, so that's what that one is. And this one right here we have in the front of our house. Okay, and this one has a 61 color combination effects. So literally every night if we wanted to, we can press the remote to change to a different pattern. Okay, so that's what we did there. And then I'm going to make it a little easy on myself this guy this year, guys. I like I have to. You know, I really simply have to. So I'm buying a lot of my desserts. I bought a socket to me cake. This cake is good until 12:5. Who doesn't love a good socket to me cake? That bad boy is going to be good with a little bit of eggnog on the side. Listen here. We have a pumpkin cake roll that is amazing with that beautiful cream cheese icing we have sweet potato pie it's patty labelle's it's amazing and then i have a coconut cream pie we just keep this in the freezer until everyone's ready to have dessert and i might take this out uh let's just say a half an hour prior to everyone you know getting ready to have their dessert okay and then you want to keep your house nice and fresh and clean you want for all of your family members and guests to say oh gina's house always smells so good <laughs> right so you want to take i i use the air wicks you know and i make sure i have these in the restroom make sure i have them at the entrance of my house and upstairs and place where family members will be so they can have a nice scent of freshness all right, I'm so silly. <laughs> All right, let's make our way over to the table and I'll show you some of the other things that we have. Polo has woken up. I think Prince just woke him up. <laughs> look at his big eyes. He's so, look at them, they're so sweet. Now Prince is falling asleep. He wakes Polo up <laughs> and now he's gonna fall asleep. <laughs> All right, so over to the dining room table. Here's what we have about you all but I absolutely adore and you all know you all that are familiar with me you know that I love to use these aluminum pans you know they're disposable and you can just discard them when you're done this one right here will be used for my cranberry sauce it's so little it's a it's a loaf pan but it fits the amount that I'm going to make is going to give me two of these filled with cranberry sauce and then, of course, you know, I have one for stuffing, green beans, baked macaroni, mashed potatoes. We got turkey, you know, all, all of that. I just always 
what I do when I go to the grocery store so I don't forget a pan for everything is I write down, you're gonna need something for your ham. You're gonna need something for your corn and your green beans and your mashed potatoes and stuffing. That way I can have enough and I won't be disappointed and not have everything that I need. Okay, so I started to get um, some plates. These plates were on sale, but I definitely need to get more, okay? And then I bought uh, 50 party cups, okay? And then I bought eight, I think. Yeah, I bought eight of the cut green beans, okay? You know I'm gonna make some amazing green beans. My green beans are out of sight. And then I have the yams in the back. Those yams in the back are gonna be used for sweet potato casserole. Oh my goodness. Okay, so then I have a 10 pound bag of the russet potatoes. If you want the most fluffiest, beautiful potatoes, get you some russet potatoes. Russet Idaho potatoes are gonna give you that perfect mashed potato this year. And then you can see right here, I have three cans of golden sweet whole kernel corn. I'm gonna make either some corn, this either some scallop corn or maybe just butter corn, the kind of butter corn that I um, like to put the butter, the salt and the pepper and a little bit of sugar. Maybe I'll just do it kind of plain, you know? And then I've started to get some drinks, okay? And that is just the orange crush and the vanilla Coke. The vanilla Coke is my favorite, but I'll probably get about maybe three more 12 packs of different drinks as well. Okay, so let's make our way to the refrigerator and I wanna show you all a few things that I have in the refrigerator. Okay, so some of these things I'm gonna to need to take out of the refrigerator to show you what we have, okay? So now you can see that brand, the, the um, trash bag. What is that, Gina? Well, guess what? That's my 20 pound turkey. And underneath it, the pink thing is a towel. You can see that I've taken the whole drawer out so my turkey can sit at the bottom of my refrigerator. You never ever wanna take your turkey and put it at the top because guess what happens? That juice and the bacteria and things like that um, from your turkey will just drain down into your food and that would not be good. So what I did was I put my turkey into the plastic bag or the trash bag and any juices that might run off of it while my turkey is draining right now or while my turkey is thawing out is gonna go into the bag. And if anything comes out the bag, it'll go onto the towel. And that way I can keep things nice and sanitary. And I have a ham that I'm gonna take out and show you. I have bacon here for my green beans. Let's get some things out of here and let me show you what else I have. Okay, everyone, before we take our turkey out, cause I'm gonna unwrap the turkey and show you what type of turkey I like to buy. I wanna show you these things. Of course, I have my two bags, fresh cranberries. Okay, I have um, nice thick slices around about this thick of my hard salami that's going to be for my linguine salad. I have some Miracle Whip and I'm going to use that Miracle Whip for the, um, I'm going to make deviled eggs this year. I got a big thing of country crock, okay, and here's my ham. Look at my ham, guys. I bought a beautiful Sugardale ham. It's spiral sliced smoked ham. Of course, it's fully cooked. Fully cooked is the way that I like to go when I purchase a ham. And the spiral slice means it's already sliced for you, which is absolutely amazing, right? That there was $23, which, which was not bad. It was not too bad, okay? Let me see how many pounds it was. This is a 9.78 pounds, okay? Beautiful ham. My bacon for my green beans sharp cheese over there, two bags, and that's gonna go in my macaroni. Heavy whipping cream for my mashed potatoes and also for my baked macaroni. And we have two things of eggnog. These are the little Smokies. I have three packages. These little Smokies have uh, cheddar in them that I'm gonna mix with that ranch, buffalo sauce, and the barbecue sauce. This right here is an amazing appetizer, especially if you make a Gina Young style. You, like, you can't, you can't lose. Okay, I'm gonna put some of these things away and then we're gonna bring out the turkey.
I found them. <laughs> Somebody put them in the pantry. Okay, everyone. So right here I have a butter paw, butter paw, butter ball, premium, all natural turkey. Raised without hormones or steroids is what they say. <laughs> but I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've had different kinds of turkeys. I really lean towards the butterball. It's amazing. Every time I get it, it's always nice and juicy. Okay? And then, so my, let's see, let's come down this way. My turkey weighed 20.67 pounds. So the price was $20.26, which was not bad. Not bad at all. Okay? All right, so, and I actually might today, I actually might put this into some cold water so that I can get it starting to thaw out, okay? Or I can start it tomorrow, which is Tuesday, you know, and how I like to do mine, as I've told you all before, if you've missed it, I'm gonna tell you again. What you do is you clean your sink out, get your sink impeccably clean and sanitized, and you take this turkey, you don't have to unwrap it, you take it and you submerge it in ice cold water. Uh, you know, some, some people might say, ice cold water is gonna thaw it out. It does for me. <laughs> I thaw it out half the way in the, you know, I thaw it out in the refrigerator as much as I can. But if it's not thawed all the way out, I put it in the water, the cold water, and then every half an hour I change it, drain that water, fill it back up and flip it over. Fill it up, you know, for half an hour, let it sit, flip it back over, fill it up with cold water again. And really quickly, it thaws out for you. So that's my process of thawing the turkey out. Like I said, I like to start start thawing it out because this is, this is, I bought this yesterday and it's frozen solid. But believe me, it is starting to thaw out in the bottom of that refrigerator because it's not, you know, in the freezer anymore. But so maybe today I will take a couple hours and start the thawing process and then tomorrow I'll put it in some water again for a little while. Okay, so I'm going to put this back. I'm going to close this up and then I'll wash my hands. I have to put everything back up. I'm going to put everything, I'm going to line everything up here on this counter and get it out the way, you know, uh, and off of the island and off of the kitchen table so we still have, you know, room to move around. And then what I'll do is I'll take a pen and a paper and I'll write down all of my fresh things that I still need to get as far as my uh, cucumbers, my tomatoes, my celery and things like that. I'll make that list. And then I know I have all kinds of stuff to still get. If you all enjoy, listen here, if you all enjoy this grocery haul, let me know. And maybe I can start doing more grocery hauls. This is my first grocery haul I did and it was kind of fun. <laughs> if you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Jeannie Young uploads one of these awesome videos. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know all about Jeannie Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Good night. Oh, oh, oh. But... I do have an amazing recipe that I'm going to make for you guys. And it is, an, it, it is a dessert and it does have lemon in it. Stay tuned.